Hi guys, what can be the difference between the ROM and the RAM? Every time when person won't buy a new smartphone, one of the most important thing when they look forward to for the phone now the size of the ROM and the RAM. So if you look the carton of most Android phones like Techno, Infinix, Oppo and Redmi, you go see the ROM and the RAM storage space capacity for inside the body of the carton. So what can be this ROM and the RAM and which storage capacity be the right one for you in case you won't buy a new smartphone? The thing be sale, if we start to explain them just like that, it could be a bit confusing. You know, ROM, RAM, ROM, RAM, ROM, RAM, ROM, RAM, we go confuse. And we're not going to know which one be which one. So make we say the ROM, not the ROM. Why the RAM, not good? I mean, you know that's good when we say they get horn when they twisted. She na be RAM now. Mm-hmm. So for today's video, why the ROM go remain the ROM, we go assume say the RAM na good. Before I answer the question, make I clear something. Both the ROM and the RAM na storage spaces. It means say there be memory card when they inside the phone. The difference be say you fit remove memory card from phone, but you not go feel remove the ROM and the RAM from the phone because they they inside the phone and they be part of the phone itself. Okay, may we identify the two separately, the ROM and the RAM. Before we talk about that one again, if you never already subscribed to this channel, I beg, subscribe now, push that like button, and also share this video with your friends. The ROM on your own, they save all the files when they're inside the phone. So music, videos, pictures, applications, and even games, they save inside the ROM. Since the ROM, they hold the files when they're inside the phone, inside the big pass the RAM on. So you go see 16 gig ROM, 32 gig ROM, 64 gig ROM, and even 128 gig ROM. The higher the ROM space, the more it fit collect more videos, music, pictures, games, and applications. The good thing about the ROM be say, it no need electric current to work. So even if the battery of the phone die, it no go lose the files when they inside them. As you put battery back and on the phone, you go still see the files when be they inside. The ROM space this stable, you know they lose in files easily except you delete the files or you format the ROM memory in a process when we they call hand flashing. But the problem be say, the ROM they very slow. You know they quick release in files. May we take for example, imagine say you open any game or application from your phone. For example, Fruit Ninja game. It could take the ROM long time to load the game data give the phone CPU when it done. It means say you go wait for a long time before the game go open. Now think I'm again. If to open just one game from the ROM they take time. Then if you open another app, it go slow the phone down. By the time you go back to the first game where you open, which is the Fruit Ninja game, it not go start from where you be play the game rich. So the ROM not fit multitask because anytime you open new app, the previous application where you be open go completely close. So for a phone to multitask and run fast, it go need another storage space when go fit quickly and easily release files, give the CPU for the CPU to display for screen for us to see. And now waiting make phones they get the RAM or the good storage space, not be that. Unlike the ROM, the RAM they very fast. You know they quick close the information when in load. And if the CPU open application or games through the RAM and then close the application or game and then it can open another one, the RAM no go end the first application or game when be done they open. So when you come back to the first application or that game, it go there just the way you've been living. For example, may we say you open the game when they call Vector for your phone and when you tire to play them, you can't open another game when they call Homescape. If you go back to the first game when you open, which is the Vector game, it go there exactly where you've been living. The reason is because the RAM of the phone know the close applications, even when you come up from the application. And it is very much ready and fast to transfer those applications and game data to the CPU for the CPU to display them for the screen of the phone. Now, if the ROM now they store all the applications, games, and media files, how come when the RAM take get access to the app instead of the ROM? Well, for Android, anytime you tap on any app or game, for your phone, the ROM will transfer the data of the application to the RAM. Now, these data, now the applications need to work. So, these data will transfer from the ROM storage space to the RAM storage space when they faster. The reason is because the RAM or the goods will fit transfer these data to the CPU faster, past the way the ROM will fit transfer them. This one, they reduce the application or game loading time. But if the RAM they faster past the ROM, why they not just turn all the ROM space to RAM and make them just one big storage space and then stop to use the ROM? For now, it's not possible. 
The RAM space needs the electric current to work. Once your battery low and the phone off, all the things when your RAM store go lost. Now it make if your battery low and the phone off when you've been the play game. If you charge the phone and on them, the game no go continue from when they stop. Because when the phone off and the RAM no get supply of current from the battery, it don't lose the data of the game when you be the play. The same thing will still happen if you end all background apps. Background apps now apps data when the RAM they save in case the CPU need them again. If you end them, the RAM will delete them. When you open them again, the RAM will collect their data from the ROM and temporarily save them again. Imagine say all your pictures, videos, music, apps and games, they inside this kind of ROM memory. Every time when you turn your phone on, all your files don't go be that. So we need the ROM to store our files and apps permanently and make them safe. Why we also need the RAM to collect these app data from the ROM and save them temporarily and then quickly supply the CPU any of these data when they need. Now raising this question, since the RAM they make the phone operate fast, it means say if the RAM space high, the phone go dip fast and if the space this small, the phone go run slower. The answer na no. Android phone when get 1 gig RAM and the one when get 6 gig RAM go run faster the same way. The difference be say, the 6 gig RAM phone go fit handle multitasking past 1 gig RAM phone. Once the application when the 1 gig RAM phone they hold on too much, the phone go start to run slow. So provided say the multitasking for the 1 gig RAM not too much, it go run as fast as the way 6 gig RAM phone go run. So if the 6 gig RAM still get too much multitasking beyond within a field hold, it go run slower just as the 1 gig RAM go run slower. So if you operate the phone within the average multitasking limit, the phone not go run slow, the two go run with the same speed. So if you want buy phone, now which storage space size better pass? The answer depends on what you want to do with the phone. 1 gig RAM phone they okay for people when only they Facebook, run Instagram, play few games and then make calls. If you be person when get 1 million things to do with your phone, then you go to think of 6 gig or 8 gig RAM phone. For the average users, 3 gig RAM or 4 gig RAM phone, no bad. Now you know the difference between the ROM and the RAM. Make I know what you think. Leave your comment below and remember to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Now one last note, if you not subscribe to this my channel, you already know say we they try find the difference between the goods and the ROM and not let me go classify you for one side. I'm not talking anything, I just they try to tell you say make you subscribe.